thick, fast and furious. And may I add, infuriating. As today I'm going to attempt to predict the scores for week 42 of this 2022. 2023 championship season. Now, last week's top scorer with a, a lovely score of 12.5 points was Swansea City won, closely followed by a Rhino. Top sipster there with 11 and a half points. How that affects the overall leaderboard on the Superbrew website now. Well, top of the shop once again is GKK474, aka Grant Kearns on 386 points. In second place, leapfrogging Douglas is a rhino now on 376 and a half points, and Douglas James Horn 92 is on 374 points. That's enough of last week though, as we move on to a game week 42. These games take place on Friday the 14th of April and Saturday the 15th of April. And first up, a mouth-watering clash between Middlesbrough and Norwich. Middlesbrough, last time out, only drawing against Bristol City 2-2. And that's three matches now without a win for Middlesbrough. And Norwich City, another draw for them, where they were held 0-0 with Rotherham. Uh, all to play for in this one. Middlesbrough currently in fourth position after Luton. Uh, gained that third spot at the table in the table at the moment. So another tight one to call this one, but I do fancy Middlesbrough to get back to winning ways, and I'm going to go for a 2-1 scoreline on Friday evening. We then move on to Saturday afternoon lunchtime. We've got Sheffield United, the Blades taking on Cardiff City. Cardiff narrowly being beaten last time out against Sunderland. They had opportunities to score in that game. The Bluebirds but couldn't take them. And Sheffield United losing that top of the table clash against Burnley 2 Now, Another tight one to call this one. Cardiff City fighting for their lives at the bottom of the table. And Sheffield United want, want to get back to winning ways. And I think they will. It will be tough for them, for the Blades. But I think they'll ultimately sneak this one. 1-0 in a very tight game. We then move on to the first of the 3 o'clock kickoffs, where Blackpool take on Wigan Athletic. Bottom of the table clash this one. Looks who will blink first in this one. Blackpool on a terrible run of four straight defeats. And Wigan back-to-back -back defeats and losing 2-0 at Swansea last time. So both of these teams will be uh, looking for a victory in this one. But I do fancy Wigan to take the spoils in this one. And I think they will come away with a 2-1 away win. We then move on to the Den where Millwall face Preston North End now. Things are really hotting at, at the top end of the championship. Preston currently on 62 points. Five victories in their last six matches. Taken on a Millwall side now who haven't won in their last four matches. A narrow 1-0 defeat against Hull City last time out. So Preston going to be looking for all three points in this one. However, I do think this one will end up in a draw. And I am going to go for a 1-1 scoreline win. Both teams should be looking for a victory in that clash. We then move on to Loftus Road where QPR in the last match came away with a draw against West Brom where they, I think they were 2-0 down in that fixture. And Coventry City, a fourth draw in the last seven matches against Watford in that last fixture. I think though in this game, Coventry will want to bounce back to winning ways, especially as they're hunting down if they can at playoff berth. Uh, QPR have been woeful recently, but they did grind out that draw against uh, West Brom. Ultimately in this game, I think it will be a low scoring affair, but I do expect Coventry to come away with three points in a 1-0 away win. We then move on to the Majesty Stadium, where Reading, winless in their last seven matches, take on a Burnley side who are looking to secure that champion's spot at the top of the table. Of course, they're already promoted. Uh, I don't think Burnley will run away with this one uh, with a massive victory as Reading are. Although they are losing and drawing narrowly, I think they will ultimately lose this one 2 0. We then move on to Rotherham United taking on Luton Town and Rotherham. Only two defeats in the last seven matches. They have had draws against Norwich and Hull City and a win against West Brom. So form-wise, they're not the Millers are doing okay. Taking on a Luton Town side who haven't lost now in the last seven matches. A good 3-1 victory against the Seasiders of Blackpool in their last match. 
but I do expect them to come away with all three points in a narrow 1-0 away win. We then move on to the Bet365 Stadium where Stoke City take on West Brom. Uh, Stoke one win in their last five matches and West Brom uh, haven't won in their, their last four matches. Another tight affair this one, but I do think Stoke will sneak this one in the end 2-1. We then move on to the Stadium of Light West Sunderland, take on Birmingham City. Sunderland a good away victory against Cardiff City last time out after three draws on the bounce. And Birmingham drawing their last two matches and prior to that it was back to back victory so another tight one and I fancy this one to end up all square 1-1 we then move on to Swansea.com stadium where Swansea take in on Huddersfield Huddersfield only one defeat in their last seven matches uh, Neil Warnock working his magic once again there at the foot of the, the, the championship and Swansea undefeated in the last four matches so another tight one this one there could be goals and I think there will be. And I'm going to go for Desmond's in this one. I'm going to go for a 2-2 scoreline. We then move on to Vicarage Road, where Watford take on Bristol City. Uh, Watford only one win in their last seven. Bristol City only two wins in their last seven. Both of these sides have drawn three of those last seven matches as well, where Watford drew their last fixture 2-2 with Coventry and Bristol City also drew their last fixture 2-2 with Middlesbrough another tight one I expect another draw in this one and I am going to go for a 1-1 scoreline then the evening kickoff God, who wants to play on a Saturday night in the championship? But uh, Blackburn Rovers will be taking on Hull City at that time, 7.45 on Saturday evening. Blackburn in their last fixture did draw 2-2 against Huddersfield and Hull City came away with a very, very good victory over Millwall 1 now, another tight one, this one, and I do expect this one to end up in another draw. Can't see Blackburn losing this one, so I am going to go for a 1-1 scoreline in that late fixture on Saturday evening. So that concludes my predictions for week 22 of this 2022-2023 championship season. Make sure you leave your predictions over at the Super Peru website. See if you can come away as top scorer in this game week. So thank you for joining me once again, guys. More predictions to follow later this week as we'll be attempting to predict the scores for week 43. Thanks for joining me once again and I'll see you all in the next video.